Hello everybody. So we'll look at uh, the concept of constructors in a class. So basically what we have understood till now is our basic understanding is uh, a class has multiple variables in it. These variables are different attributes of the class or of the ent entity which the class describes. So whenever an object of a class is created, what happens? What are the initial values of that object? What should happen? So that is where the constructor comes into the picture. So what should happen when an object of an class is created is defined in the constructor of the uh, constructor of the class. Okay, let's look at a very simple case where uh, we have defined a class called line and to completely define a line all you need is the length of the line. So that is what we have here, uh, a real number which defines the length and uh, what we want to uh, give the ability is uh, to the programmer is that uh, to the user of the classes that when he creates an object of this length line, when he's creating the object he should be, uh, he should have uh, the ability to say ki what should be the the length of the line. So that is the first basic ability that uh, we want to pass and this can be passed using the constructors. So first let's just, uh, we'll come back to the syntax but think of it this way that uh, a constructor's function name is same as the class's function name. So this is a fixed tool. So the class name is line, the constructor name also has to be line and uh, whatever are the inputs the function takes uh, to be defined here. And the definition of the constructor is written as the class colon colon the function name as usual see here in this case the class name and the constructor name are the function name is the same so it is line colon colon line and double and length and here what we are doing is we are assigning the input length to the uh, length of this object. Okay, so this is ever Whenever uh, the user of the class uh, creates an object with this constructor, he can uh, assign it some initial value he wants. Also, what C++ provides us is the ability to provide to give multiple constructors, and the user can user of the class can pick any constructor he likes which suits him at that point. So in this case, we have two constructors: one which takes in some value and it assigns it to this variable length and the second constructor is a simple constructor it doesn't do anything it doesn't uh, uh, do any initialization uh, and uh, it simply just uh, leaves it as it is so we'll use both the constructors so in this case we have used the first constructor uh, which takes the length 10.0 and the second case we have just created object without uh, giving any value and what we want to see is key once we do that we will call the get length function of this line and it will print out we'll, so we will print out the length and in the second case in the second for the second object we will have to call the set length before we uh, use the get length so let's see how this code works <coughs> So another thing we had done was we had uh, placed a see out message here. So every time the object of a class is created, the constructor of the class gets called. And every time the constructor of the uh, class gets called, it prints out this message saying an object is created. So that is another way of uh, from the debug messages we can see when an object is created. So here. This is the when line is created, object is created length equal to 10 and the second case object is being created but not in a slice because we use the simple constructor in this case. And then the length of the line, first case it is 10 and the second case we had to do set length and then get length. Okay. Thank you.